What is up, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? I'm picking up right where we left off. Uh, I know it's a bit out of the blue that I'm doing this tonight, but uh, something came up uh, for Friday night that uh, would definitely keep me from streaming, so I thought I, I'll just do the stream now. So we are exactly where we were when we left off. Right here in the temple. So now we gotta figure this place out. of mirrors. Clearly there's something that involves light, but I don't think we... not... that's the switch I have to hit, I guess. But I think I don't have what I need to solve this puzzle yet. stairs that go all the way down. Interesting. Let's get this out of the way. Hey, Mrs. Bunny, how you doing? Alright, Riju. You doing great? That's great to hear. So this is one of the batteries. It seems to have absorbed my lightning well enough. How far into the game are we? We are right back where we left off. Right here at the lightning temple. Alright, three left. Can't use channel points yet, but hydrate. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Got a little tea here behind me. There we go. Hydrated. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh, you're right. 
Mark IV. Oh, boy. Yeah, I better pull out another weapon. You're just absolute damage sponges. Shield of a different variety. Oh. Another one, but. Ah. Okay. Gotta find a way up there. Actually. Let me. Just put this on here. Oh, where is it? suspicious. Hmm. There's another thing of light, but we still haven't figured out where the light's supposed to come from. shine and hit that one back there, I think. Oh. Hey, thanks for the follow, Senpai Alex VT. Hope you're having a great day today. following the whole time. I've been there. I've been there. <laughs> ah. Okay. This thing is going to be a problem. You got that right.
and hiding anything under that brick. <laughs> Presume that hey, disabled, the trap is disabled We can get past now. Yep. Hmm. Light switch to reach that. down underneath here. Gotcha. Yeah, what you gonna do? I see what we we're meant to do here. That's part of what we're meant to do. There's really something else going on as well. Oh! Okay. I see what we need to do here. Just enough. supposed to use these, but I didn't need them anyway. Okay. it. I think it is. It is. I just gotta line that mirror. be helpful if I Okay. Got a desktop notification there for a second. Get in. Link doesn't want to point straight for some reason. There we go. Oh, 
All right, Rizu. No, not you, Yunobo. Let's do this. That's number two. Two more left, Link. Let's hurry. Yes, let's. Divert that light up or down. those two up. that back there. Natural light. That gives me an idea. Not tall enough. Okay. Try this then. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Now we've got to shine it directly across. Hopefully that'll be enough. Just a little further. Ah, it doesn't quite reach. We 
figure out some way up there. Is that enough to boost me? Make sure I didn't miss anything back here as well. From the looks of it, no. Okay, I didn't. couple ways to fix that. Sixth floor. Wow. Ah, this is the way in there. I better uh, put that away. Good thing I'm wearing the fireproof armor. Let open the door. Uh, there she is. to go. Alright. Let's do this. At least we know where to look. Another chamber. Be ready, Riju. Good. on fire, but it didn't last very long. Since you want to try and spin attack me, how about I spin attack you? Oh, we got some archers, huh? So what's the deal with this place? Can you explain the objective of the game? Um, well, our current mission right now is to uh, charge up the batteries in the temple so that the elevator can work and we can get to the top where that Queen Gibdo is. And uh, after that, uh, we need to report back to Lookout Landing and see what Pura has to say. She might have another uh, mission for us. Uh, 
um, overall we're trying to find wherever uh, Zelda has gone because she's currently missing. Although if you were here, if you were uh, here for it, we did find a vision last time that kind of explains where she went. But she's always on the move. Okay, I see how to make this work. Um, oh wait, that's not gonna work, is it? until I can get it higher up. And then... Move it up here. Put it up there. Ascend up here. That's the last battery. Okay, Rishu, where are you? Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. There we go. Thanks. charged all of the batteries with lightning. That should wake up the mechanism in the center. Let's go, Link. All right. Let me top off. Oh. to remember. Don't have any fairies at my disposal. Uh. What is... Link, I think this platform is about to move. Hives. Hmm? hmm? Something is shining over there. All right. You know what to do. again.
gonna run away this Let's time? Go. We'll finish it off here and now. doing anything. I even had that equipped. camera did that. I was trying to jump to the side. She's much easier this time. Shots to Lynn. Summoning more gifters. Don't let them surround you. Let's get rid of the hives. Sure don't like it. Here we go. Ah, if only I had a mirror shield. Didn't think to take it. Nothing stopping us from making our own. also a problem. Oh, not good. I just noticed my health. Okay. 
Okay, do I got a two-handed? I think I got a two-handed. Time to spin away. You lost your focus. It's another one down. If we keep at this, they'll eventually stop spawning. Then we can just focus on the queen. Dodge that. Oh, this is not good. That should help some. Come here, you. Quit, bro. Oh, that could... No, not a bright bloom. Stop, bro. How did I get knocked all the way up there? Gotcha! And we got another heart container. Nice. Finally on row two. I've got 21 hearts. Riju, beloved daughter of the Gerudo. Uh, I know that voice. You're the one who's been talking all this time. Yes, your ancestor from a time long past. 
I was a Garuda warrior who served the first king of Hyrule and a sage who called down lightning, just as you can. I've seen you brandish the power you have in defense of our people. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You are the pride of the Garuda. The Demon King is responsible for sending the monster that caused the Sand Shroud. But the monster's true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining that stone. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? <laughs> Don't worry. You will understand soon enough. Let me tell you of events in our distant past. The events that shaped our people's destiny during the Imprisoning War. <laughs> long, long ago, when the Kingdom of Hyrule was still young, a great evil, the Demon King, emerged. He attacked the innocent and sought the destruction of Hyrule. He was our chief before he changed. His obsession with power transformed him into a monster. Raru, the first king of Hyrule, and six warriors rose to oppose him. I'm proud to have been one of them. We face the Demon King, but only after Raru gave us the secret stones. Artifacts that amplified the abilities of those who carried them. I, the Sage of Lightning, fought by my fellow sages in battle with my own secret stone. But we were no match for his overwhelming power. He endured our strongest attacks, even the lightning strikes I called down. King Raru knew we had lost the battle against the Demon King. He made the ultimate sacrifice to imprison the Demon King, to seal him away. That was the Imprisoning War. Some time later, another of the Six Sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit me. And she set the Gerudo on our destined path. The magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that time comes, you must help Link. He is a noble swordsman who will fight that monster. So please, he will need your assistance. Lend him your power. The Gerudo's control of lightning. The path of the Gerudo was clear at that moment. We wish nothing more than to eliminate the Demon King. We are responsible for his very existence in this world, and for that we must make amends. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Gerudo Sage of Lightning will awaken once more. The Gerudo Sage and her people will fight alongside your swordsmen. And now I have told you all I can of the Imprisoning War, and of our people's destiny. You have saved Gerudo Town, but the Demon King still remains a threat. Riju, daughter of the Gerudo. You must take up my secret stone, and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the Swordsman, Link. I guess we'll never get to so see the chant the uh, sage's faces. Side. <sighs> my destiny as a sage, my duties as chief, and fighting side by side with you? <laughs> Sounds like fun. I will gladly strike down the so-called demon king. I guess it's time 
to claim my destiny. Another ring. Use that ring to call upon my power whenever you need it. <laughs> it seems I can finally repay you. Okay, should we head back to town? Sounds like a good plan. begun to flow again. The storm may have cleared, but there's still rebuilding to be done. Hmm. Ah, Link. I am grateful for your... for you... Eh. I am grateful to you for uh, helping me save the Gerudo. I've received reports that ever since the Sand Shroud dissipated, Gibdo attacks have almost entirely stopped. Oh. It will no doubt take some time to rebuild, but it is thanks to you that we can live on the surface again. On behalf of all the Gerudo people, thank you. Oh, wow. Mm. I am sorry to say, though, that the, despite the safety of Gerudo Town no longer being a pressing concern, we still haven't been able to uncover any information on the whereabouts of Princess Zelda. Hmm. Actually, Bulyara, I do have a small piece of information regarding Zelda. I experienced a vision when I took the secret stone in my hand. The person that my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time looked identical to Zelda. Someone who just happens to look like Zelda. That doesn't explain everything that's been going on. But, it's impossible to deny that someone resembling Zelda has been spotted across Hyrule, 
and the ter terrible events follow her. The Zelda we know, and the Zelda we saw in the vision of the distant past, are incredibly similar. Hmm. If the Zelda in the past is our Zelda, then who is this other person? We must uncover her true identity. Hmm. I'm sorry, Link. Although the threat of the Sand Shroud and the Gyptos has passed, I cannot leave Gerudo Town at the moment. Things need some time to settle. However, we will take on the task of searching the area for any signs of Zelda. <clears throat> and with my newfound power as a sage, I will still be able to support you. I will do anything I can to help. Use it to summon or dismiss the avatar of Riju. Link, you said you had already visited R Rito Village, Goron City, and Zoro's Domain. I'm sure Lookout Landing would value any information you could share. Why not go there and see if you can help? So. I hope your travel I hope your travels bring you back here again, Link. I look forward to such a reunion. I will do my best to learn more of what is happening with Zelda before we meet again. Make sure to come back and visit. Oh, and don't forget, even when I cannot be by your side, you can always call on my power as a sage. Probably should change back into this. So I don't get overwhelmed by the heat. Ah. Gotta be sneaky. Saba! My Baba said it was okay if I talked to you. That means I don't have to hide my face anymore. Yay! But also, Miss Ash I said it, that it's still not okay, so... Maybe we can keep this a secret? Oh. Huh. So these were the accessories she was talking about. Earrings. Increased defense. Swim speed up. Shock resistance. Heat resistance. Cold resistance. Attack up. Interesting. Okay, that that's cool to know. Hey, it's another one of those stones. Uh? Hey, that weird-looking orb is very important to Dahlia. I know that the chief said that you're free to use anything in town, but you shouldn't touch that thing until you've checked with Dahlia first. I apologize. I did not know this was belonging to someone when it was just set over here in a corner. Deltan. Kara. Which one was Dahlia?
There we go. What's your name? Ben then. I really want to go back, but I'm worried about traveling. Oh, I'm sorry. I was so lost in thought that I didn't notice you. Originally, I came here to share my prized recipes with people. With that done, I was going to head home. But I've heard some scary rumors. Apparently, the Yiga clan has been spotted behind a waterfall along the road in Gerudo Canyon. They've got to be up to no good in there. How can I head back with that weighing on my mind? That's fair. They're along the road, too. It can't be red for because the Gerudo are so tall. Oh. What? If you're here about the cooking class, it isn't being held at the moment. Ah. Before the Sand Shroud settled in, Ashai was teaching a cooking class here. You see... You can get really far in life and in love if you have a solid grasp on the essentials of cooking. But she has so many students now that her other class, Vo and you, takes up all her time. So she's opened this place up for everyone's use. The cookbooks here are really useful too. If you're planning to do any cooking at all, you should definitely give them a read. Chef Ari Tamu, Volume 2. There are many in the world who will gladly pay for the dishes a, chief a chef creates. A cooked meal can easily sell for more than the individual components you use to make it. And don't forget, the more ingredients you pour into a meal, the greater the value. Basic math. Did I learn all this from experience? No, of course not. I learned it from a friend. A dear friend, who was a great chef. I can't recall his name right now, but he was a friend to be sure. Sometimes you'll witness incredible success in cooking adventures. When this happens, the strength and duration of your cooked food's effects will increase well beyond normal. Using more than the usual number of ingredients is a sure way to boost the effects. But, I've also heard rumors that the light of the red moon can have a positive effect on your cooking as well. Really? The blood moon? I haven't checked this myself, though. I get sleepy in the evenings, so I've never seen the red moon. Now I can read it. You can cook up monster blah 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 blah. Elixirs can be made in pots, just like food. You can also add acorns or chickaloo tree nuts to impart your elixir with minor healing properties. However, I, Ari Tamu, am deathly afraid of critters and would never even think of touching them. Okay. It is said that fairies truly do exist in the world, but that they only appear before an individual with a pure soul. One theory suggests that some special kind of cooking might be possible if you use the power of a fairy. I, Ari Tamu, have been a pure soul for over 35 years. I expect my fairy will arrive any day now. <laughs> okay then. Hmm. So who is Dali? Rosa. Pritana, Pyra, Sumati, Yaido. Uh, hmm. Mm. 
<sighs> I don't even want to think about setting out in search of my true love. It would be a lot easier if there were Vo somewhere nearby, just waiting for us to discover them. Oh. What about that Hylian Vo who helped clear up the Sand Shroud? He seemed okay. <laughs> yeah, I think he'd make an acceptable partner at least. He is certainly strong, there's no doubt about that. Mm. I agree, he's definitely okay at least. Ah, <sighs> Maybe he'd be worth a second look the next time he comes to town. <laughs> Ooh, I like this idea. If one of us found our true love without having to travel, that'd be so easy. Okay, apparently Link is mid. reason to. What about you? Pearl? What do they mean? Zavak. Zavak? Oh. This is the chief's beloved sand seal, Patricia. She is no ordinary sand seal, though. Patricia is something of an oracle. Please, offer her some fruit. In return, she'll share a reading with you. Mm. Though if you give her a splash fruit, you'll almost certainly get a strange number-filled reading. I can only assume that the brilliance of these readings is simply beyond our understanding. Flesh fruit prophecies seal shall guide you to places worthy of your time. Huh? Patricia, as always, offers guiding words of wisdom. Okay, so she wants a splash fruit then. Secret numbers negative three seven eight one two nine oh 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 four seven. That was the reading Patricia gave. Those are coordinates. I can only assume that the brilliance of these readings is simply beyond our understanding. Hmm.
that's too bad those numbers there only show me what the numbers are when I'm there. Instead of actually being able to show me what the numbers would be wherever my cursor is. I'll have to watch how they change when I move. So it's an XYZ coordinate, which means we need to head ninety units north. What was that? What were those other? Okay, three seven eight one. Two nine zero 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 four seven. So, wait, was it three eight seven one? <laughs> Back we go. Three seven eight one. Okay, three seven eight one. Three seven eight one. So we need to head east by not quite ninety units, but trying to do the math in my head. <laughs> 89 units, I want to say. So, east 89 units, north 91 units. And then, vertically, we need to move upward 4 units. So I'm thinking it's somewhere in this area. So the oasis should be a good place to start. Too far north. Too far north, too far east. Estimated. Ah. Let's see. So it's still back in the city? The desert Rift. Thanks, Sidon. Uh-oh, it's getting cold out.
Oh, we're getting close. Two ninety. I mean, twenty nine hundred. Now we just need to move directly south. Throw rocks at me all you want. Is it the outpost? No, we're not far enough. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. I, I'm an idiot. We were at the perfect one. We just needed to head east. Is that a balloon of some kind? Right here. Okay, so let's try this again. No, wait. We need to head west. I'm an idiot. Keep forgetting. <laughs> Keep forgetting we're, we're on the negative side of the axis. I think it is still inside Gerudo Town. So, let's see. There's one random stone out here. Smells of Korok. Nope. Three seven he is inside the city. She's just got a mirror on the tip of that. Oh. The battle was fierce, but in the end we paid them back for our earlier failures. Unfortunately, the spear I made, the, the one with the fire fruit attached to it, broke during the fight. No lives were lost, though. A spear is a small price to pay, all things considered. Oh. While Vo and General are not allowed to enter the town, you helped us fight off the recent threat. Pass through with your head held high. Three seven eight one West North. That's North. So Eighty nine. 
one. It's just pointing me to this, which I already knew was here. Oh well. I thought maybe I was going to find something neat, but I guess not. May as well take this down there to that chamber. Oh! The door is open now. Let's figure out which one this goes to. Shouldn't be hard. Hmm? Oh, you brought me another orb? Sock so. You deserve something for the trouble you went to carry it all the way out here. Ah. Will this do? Honestly... I wasn't expecting anything. Oh, do have their uses, don't they? If you find any more orbs, I'd be thrilled if you bring them here to me. the next one on the list. How about that? There we go. That's another one. Once we return the orbs to all seven. I know where two more are. The trouble is I can't find Dahlia, who I need to speak to for one of them. I I read all right. Thank you. So who is Dahlia? That's Delton, and that's a shy. Ooh. Just left it here, huh? Don't mind if I do. So that's one of the ones I didn't know where it was. Or, no, I probably knew where it was. I just didn't realize it was... Didn't remember it was there. Yep, I've got another one. Ah. I knew there was a reason the chief approved of you. If you find another orb, I'd love it if you could carry it all the way back here for me again. So we're just missing four more, two of which I know where they are. Is 
just hidden out of sight. No, why did you? Another one. Ah. Eh? Oh, looks like it was the next one in the sequence too. hiding in the jail, how am I going to get it out? Well, the good news is there doesn't appear to be one hiding in the jail. Where could the last ones be hiding? I know one is back at the oasis. There's that other one in the corner. I still haven't found Dahlia. That's who she said it was, right? Dahlia? Oh, so that's Dahlia. I would I did I, w I thought well, I was looking for an adult. What the Ah, it's the special Vo. Hey, look at this. Isn't this orb great? After the sand shroud went away. I came outside and find it and found it lying right here. Mama says it's weird, but you agree it's cute, right? It's my very own treasure. What could I do to obtain it? Yeah. Huh? No way. Finders keepers. It takes a special though, though, to see what a special orb this is. Aww. If you like it that much, I guess I could lend it to you on one condition. You gotta play with, I mean, challenge me for it. Beat me and it's yours. So, you ready for a game? Sure. That's what I like to hear. But we can't face off here. Let's go to the shelter. What kind of game are you playing? Ah. Here we are. Everybody's gone back to the surface, so I get to use the shelter as my own playground. Here's the game. I'm gonna hide a stuffed sand seal doll somewhere here. Yeah. If you find it before time runs out, you win. Now close your eyes for a minute while I hide it. Aww. Where should I hide it? Here? Actually, over here might be better. <gasps> oh, this is perfect. He'll never think to look by the bed. I didn't think she was actually going to spell it out for me. Okay, you can open your eyes now. <laughs> I found the perfect hiding spot. Good luck figuring out where I put the sand steel. The <sighs> okay, she, I got tongue tied. The stuffed sand seal doll. Are you ready? Start. Well, that was easy. Ooh. Oh, you found it. Good job. You win. I'll see you back at the entrance to the shelter, okay? Ooh. Wow, how'd you find it? I'll lend you the orb now, just like I promised. So you can play with it as much as you want. <laughs> that game was so much fun. Reminds me of something Miss Ashai told me. If there's a vow, I have fun. If there's a foe I have fun hanging out with, then he's a very special foe indeed. 
choose your next words very carefully. Huh? See, I knew right from the start that you were a special though. Let's play together again sometime. That conversation made me very uncomfortable. Just get this one to the statues. See if we can find where that last one is hiding. Hopefully, somewhere here in town. Mm. Oh, you brought me another orb? Sark so. Mm. Why are you paying me with hydro melons? Oh. last two. Pretty sure this one, the spearhead, is in the oasis. But the last one, the last one I have no idea where it is. Vo. I'm happy that we can finally talk. I was definitely real scared of talking to you at first, but I did want to talk, I promise. I'm helping out my Vaba's shop. I'm helping out at my Vaba's shop. My big sister Kalani taught me a bunch of stuff, so I'm really good at explaining these things now too. Did you know um the bomb flowers go boom? And the uh, yellow zappy things are all um uh, bzz, bzz, Oh, and the white ones go all crack. And the red ones go whoosh. Because of all the fire. It's you! Hi! Saba! The, the trend is to keep introductions short. Mama taught me Savak, but that's how old people say it. Uh, you're the guy who saved me, who gave me all those Sunday lines. Sark for that. The sun balloon Papa made me is really popular, so I made friends with everyone in town right away. It's just like Mama and Papa said. They're still watching over me. Even though we're apart. I just remember that when I just remember that when I'm feeling sad. I'm really glad you I came. Sava! Sava! Wah. It flies in a floaty way. Isn't that neat? Hmm. Down it could 
just be hiding here in her house, could it? No. Apparently not. Uh... Nope, not hiding back here. It'd be hilarious if it was just hiding in the cannon. I don't think I saw it in here. Just up in her bedroom? Why would she have it? I doubt it's up here, but may as well look just to be thorough. Nope, not up here. side of town. So maybe it's hiding over here? There's a random rusty claymore just sitting up here. Um, hmm. Just want to make sure it's not hiding up high somewhere. way into the sewer. There's a place out in the desert with huge statues that are all facing each other. Have any of your customers ever mentioned seeing something like that while they're surfing the dunes? Hmm. Hard to say. The desert has its share of statues and ruins. And of course the upheaval really changed things too. Do you have any more information to go? Maybe a map or something? Uh. I did have one, but the wind caught it and blew it off to who knows where. I know for sure that it's in the eastern part of the desert, though. And like I said, huge statues facing each other. It helps to know it's in the east, but... Well, the desert is really, really big. Oh! A customer! Sorry, I need to get back to work. If you can figure out where you need to get... <clears throat> if you figure out where you need to go, come back and see me. I'll be happy to rent a sand seal for you to... Uh, for the trip. 
Well, I know the ruins she's talking about. There's just splash fruit just sitting here. Hmm. And through pretty much all of town, still haven't found it. There's only one place I haven't checked. I have no reason to believe it would be down here, but for the sake of being thorough, Press the button, it just did that. Does he just do that automatically? Maybe if you're in the air. No, he just did it automatically for some reason. Bizarre. Okay, so now he doesn't do it. Why was he doing it just automatically before? Divine, how are you doing? This is into this house. And here I thought I found something. Thank you. 
How's it going? Ah, uh, it's going pretty good. Um, hunting for these little orbs that are hiding all around. Uh, for a, some kind of a puzzle. the oasis. If I eliminate that one, maybe I can get Patricia to tell me where the last one is. The heck is that thing? It certainly is. Gotcha. Those silvers are usually the hardest to kill. Uh oh, it's getting cold out. something inside. I can actually hit it. Okay. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. So what's my prize? A large zone I charge. thing, isn't it? You are. Okay. That's a new one. That doesn't like to ascend there for some reason. Even though it seems like it would be a prime candidate. A prime, uh, Yeah, 
after nightfall can be bad news. Hello, uh, Senpai Kairi. How are you doing today? Doing good, how are you? I'm... I'm doing good. I'm actually currently... Uh, doing a puzzle here. Uh, that involves finding... All the little orbs like this. Apparently there's, um... A set of statues that, uh, these belong to. But I'm having trouble... There's this one, and then there's one more, and I'm having trouble finding that last one. <laughs> Young men, have you seen a fellow with a scruffy beard around here? Uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry, that was rather ab abrupt. We're the Caravan Squad, a merchant group hoping to trade in Gerudo Town. Our friend Ponthus has, uh, disappeared. When Karakara Bazaar was attacked by monsters, we all ran, taking refuge in the inn. I thought Ponthos was with us the whole time. But when we finally caught our breath, he was nowhere to be found. Aww. Between the storming sands and the rush of people, everything was a chaotic blur. I could barely see a thing. I think I caught a glimpse of Panthos running out through the west entrance. Hmm. If we're lost in the desert, our squad's rule is to wait for rescue in a place that stands out. Like near a tall building. With all the sinkholes in this desert, it's easy to get tripped up. And I'd rather not find out what would happen if I fell in one. Oh. oh, sorry, that's not for sale. Truth be told, it's kind of a nuisance, so I'd love to give it to you. But its owner is currently missing. If you'd like it, how about making a deal with him when he comes back? Alright, alright. So, he could have wound up in a sinkhole. Or he could be waiting near something tall. Or perhaps both. There's a campfire here. Yeah, he definitely went down the well. There he is. <laughs> ah, a person! Mm. Oh, sorry. I never thought I'd run into another person down here. Fell down a sinkhole, did you? So did I, my guy. My name's Panthos, member of the caravan squad. Or I was before monsters attacked the oasis. And I ditched my friends and ran. That's how I wound up down here. I've looked all over the place, but I still can't find an exit. You and me might be down here for a long, long time. Actually, you're just down below the well, below the oasis. If only I'd stuck with the rest of the caravan squad. I've searched everywhere for the exit, but I've come up empty. We might never get above ground again. Ah, you're in luck. You've met the one guy who, here who probably knows how to get out. He was hiding back there. The May as well mine these. Sadly, I never got to play any Zelda games. Oh, that's too bad. They're really a lot of fun.
Thanks for the follow, Angelo. Uh, how are you doing today? I bet they're fun to watch, though. Uh, they tend to be, yeah. Doing good, how about you? I'm doing good myself, thank you for asking. Just working on this one odd little side quest. Interesting that this side path was not sealed with the rest of them. There it is, the way out. No way! I thought I heard some kind of commotion. Look at that! We've got a path out of here. We've got... Uh, look at that, we've got a path out of here. Just ate dinner? Ooh, what'd you... Um, I hope that was good. Did you do all this, my guy? <laughs> you gotta tell me, how'd you pull this off? Oh, I bet we can climb that ladder up to the surface. Made ravioli. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh. You forgot about... Oh, you forgot about dinner? Oh. Better go make yourself something to eat. Thank you so much. I better hurry back. I'm sure my friends are worried sick. Oh, but uh, I still want to give uh, you a proper reward. Uh, drop by Karakara Kara Bazaar when you get a chance. So glad you're safe. Ah. This young man saved your life. We all owe him for that. Though, no matter how many times I hear it, I still can't believe anyone survived falling into a sinkhole. As leader of the caravan squad, allow me to thank you for bringing Ponthos back to us. Oh. And as a reward... <laughs> how about this orb, my guy? It has a weird pattern on it, and it's probably rare, right? Whatever it is, you know it's cool. Trust me, I'm a merchant. I've got an eye for things like this. Hmm. I know someone in Gerudo Town is on the lookout for stuff like this, so I was going to see if we could appraise it. But I'll let you have it, my guy. It's the rarest thing I've got, and it's all yours. Take good care of it for me. You got it. <sighs> Time to haul this one back to town. It's gonna be a bit. Just got it. Well, Link's really having to bend his knees to keep this thing lifted. <laughs> yeah, Divine's kind of lurking about. Unfortunately for Divine, I uh, they're not able to experience the stream due to their internet I'd I if I was if it was in my control I would offer the stream at lower resolutions but apparently you got to be affiliate in order to do that which is ridiculous
Apparently the highest divine said that they could go was 480p. But uh, Twitch doesn't let you start um, streaming at multiple resolutions until you reach affiliate. Which seems like a very ridiculous limitation. Is this emote new on Twitch or am I tripping? I love pineapple on pizza. Um, I actually don't know. I'm not familiar with that one. But yeah, pineapple and pizza is not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. Pineapple on pizza by itself? It's alright. Pineapple and ham on pizza? Now there you've got something. Uh, but it triggers people for sure, yeah. I mean, at least it's not like they put broccoli on pizza. Actually, broccoli on pizza, as long as it's an Alfredo sauce, I think that would actually be pretty good. Just as long as it's not stiff and hard. Maybe cook it just a tiny bit. I love all things veggies on my pizza. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, the veggies mix better with Alfredo sauce, in my opinion, as opposed to uh, the standard marinara pizza sauce. Sausage, ham, pineapple, jalapenos. Jalapenos? Damn, you're living on the wild side. Trying not to make a very unsizo joke. <laughs> what the heck? I felt something on my leg there for a second. It's just the cable. Well, we made it. Can't eat Alfredo? Oh no, why not? I'm Mexican, we eat jalapenos? I suppose that's mostly true. Not gonna assume that every single one of you eats it, though. Why can't you eat Alfredo? When if Thunderstorm gets affiliated, he must give us a pizza party now. <laughs> if only I could afford that. So why can't you eat Alfredo? Well, it gives me an upset tummy, but it's just, it's milky stuff, so yeah. Oh. Lactose intolerant? This is the pizza party. <laughs> When is your next stream? Um, the reason I'm doing this stream tonight is because I was going to stream tomorrow night, but something came up uh, that would prevent me from streaming tomorrow. So the next one, as long as nothing comes up, should be Monday. Yes, evil milk. What? <laughs> I found. So wait, are you able to at least e eat cheese? <laughs> Is this the normal stream time? Uh, kind of. I typically stream. 9 o'clock, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time.
but um, I'm considering streaming more in the daytime as well now that summer is here. I don't know if this would be rude, but how come you're in the corner? Um, mostly because I don't want to obstruct too much of the gameplay. Let's see, there's one left. Maybe Patricia can tell me how. I mean, where to find it? Yes, but like Parmesan Alfredo and an Alfredo sauce messed me up. I do not know what day you said, lol. It buffered right in the middle of you saying it. Monday. Uh. It might be 9 Eastern Standard Time. It might be 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It might actually be in the day. I haven't I haven't decided. I'm considering experimenting now that um now that it's summer. Alright, so maybe Patricia can tell me where this last one is hiding. Oh, I was gonna say you're hiding that pretty tail of yours. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I used to flow about a lot more before I learned how to properly rig it, but uh, now that I've learned how to rig it, I, I, I have to find some way to rig it to wag. It, it The biggest problem, though, is that it used to kind of do its own thing. It would come up, it would fly around me, and it would poke through my face. <laughs> You should, I would watch longer in the day. I could watch longer in the day? Oh, oh, you mean streaming during the day? Okay. But Fridays, though, definitely that is the one the one day I just cannot budge on. It would have to be at 9. Because my work always schedules me to work in the morning, and sometimes they schedule me well into the afternoon. And I just... It's an on an as-they-need-me basis, so it's not something I can easily plan around. Hey, Patricia. All right. Here's a slash fruit. Where's that last orb hiding? Ah. Oh. Thirty-eight hundred twenty-nine sixty-nine. 0058. Take that picture, because I'm definitely gonna forget that. Wow, oh my gosh, how did that make you f how did that make you feel? What, the 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 scheduling on Friday? Um. Let's see, 38. No wonder I couldn't find it. I'm gonna go lurk for a bit, gotta do dishes, I'll be back though. Okay. Do what you gotta do. Well, this is the last one. So, hopefully it'll work like she said it would. Here it is, the last one. Okay, let's see, we've got seven of them here now. And there are seven statues. So if we return all the orbs to the statues, something should happen. While you're here, could I ask you to put the orb in the statue's hands? Of course.
There we go. Hang on a minute. That was the last orb, wasn't it? This is so exciting. We've returned all the spirit. Uh, we've returned the spirits to all the seven of the heroines. So any moment now, something should happen. Hey, is the ground shaking? The floor is moving. Quick, over here. Aw. A hidden room? Let's go inside? I'm sorry. In all the excitement, I almost forgot my manners. We wouldn't have found this hidden room without you, so you should go in first. Aw. Our hearts are full with gratitude and praise for the one who saw in us all that we could be. We have enshrined an appropriate gift in the sanctuary at North Gerudo Ruins. The outsized orb near the eighth statue shall be the key that opens the way. Oh, oh gosh. Um, I'll be right back. I need to use the restroom. I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Fish are friends, not food. Yeah, I, I've never been one for uh, seafood. I mean, oh, excuse me. I can eat certain things. Welcome back, thank you. I can eat certain things and uh, where fish are involved, but it's definitely never my first choice. Welcome back, yeah, same here. Mm -hmm. Like, I can, for the most part, I can have salmon. Uh, shrimp, I can have maybe a couple before I start to feel uh, sick. Uh, tuna, put that with some mayonnaise and we'll be fine. Um, but beyond that, that's where things start to get tricky. Oh my gosh, I love seafood. Oh, okay. Uh, you got, you're gonna go to pre uh, Divine? Uh, you have fun with the stream? Alright, you, you have a good evening. Uh, thanks for joining us, Divine. It should be fine to come inside now, right? I want to get a better look at that stone Stella. Mm. Aww. Mm. Divine, they're calling you back. <laughs> hmm, I see. The North Gerudo Ruins Sanctuary. Says the giant orb is the ah. key? There's some large ruins located just north of Gerudo Town. Mrs. Bun... That's a sus emote? More pizza for us, yeah. <laughs> There's some large ruins located just north of Gerudo Town. Beneath them is a place called the Gerudo Sanctuary. I've been there often in my research. Once I found an entrance leading below ground on the north side, but... At the time, I couldn't figure out how to get inside. Now, though, I think this large orb might be the key that opens the way beneath. And, if I'm right, the truth about the mysterious Eighth, which no one has ever learned before, will finally come to light. Hmm. Except, I'd have to carry that thing. I got into archaeology to look at things, not carry them. Eh? I'm going to entrust this task to you. You only have to carry it a little ways, up to the North Gerudo Ruins. Should be no trouble for you. Do this for me and I'll consider you a full research partner. The truth about our... Mystery 8th will be something you and I uncover together. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to lift that, but I can ultra hand lift it. I just hope I can fit it out of here. Watch out, kids. Ein? What? going on? Are you fighting for fighting over pizza? <laughs> it 
Let's see. To the north side of the ruins, she said. Isn't that where the, uh... Their ice cave used to be? Oh, hi. Controller is rumbling. I am very concerned. In close. Monsters. flowers, which is good. I need some more. Nom, nom, nom. Sounds like you're having fun. you're still lurking down here. Nice. There we go. Okay. So where does this lead? Oh, 
Hi. Some arrows. This place goes pretty deep. Gotcha. Oh. How many... How many of you are down here? Lots of bright blooms. Always good to have. Ah. Oh. Those are just going to fall too, aren't they? Stella. No little side chambers looking about correct. Oh, but some giant bright blooms. Statue of the Eighth Heroine. Long ago, a monstrosity of the sands attacked Gerudo Town. Its war cry rang out over the dunes like a raging demon. We seven heroines of the Gerudo, the most stalwart chosen Vi, surged forth to engage it. Yet this monstrosity tossed us about like the tumbling weeds. We feared that the proud Gerudo would be extinguished. And then a hero appeared from afar. He marshaled the seven heroines. Counseling us to combine our strengths. The strength upon strength of we seven routed the monstrosity. We named our benefactor the Guiding Light of Gerudo. Yet though we had naught but the highest praise for him, he was refused entry into Gerudo Town. Twas Gerudo law that those that all those like him were barred. How hollow our gratitude and praise must have rung in this hero's ears. Thus was the link between his people and the Gerudo severed. Am I the only one who thinks Thunderstorm ha has a nice narrative voice? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm very self-conscious about it. I'm worried I come off as a little uh, grating at times. Though we never bequeathed it to him, the gift into which our feelings are bound is enshrined at this sanctuary. Great voice of oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, not grading at all? <laughs> Thank you. Just 300 rupees? Surely that can't have been it. Number one? Oh, thank you. <laughs> 
The gift couldn't have just been... Uh... <laughs> the gift was just 300 gold... 300 rupees, apparently. Okay, then. to be a room on the other side, which means that there's a sinkhole nearby. Choose. That's a Molduga. Oh, good grief, fighting a Molduga. Tricky with this ability set. sign of a sinkhole anywhere. Yeah, you stay over there. Don't I definitely don't want to tangle with a Molduga right now. Figuring out how to properly defeat it. That would be tricky. Especially since I don't have infinite bombs at my disposal like I did in the last game. Oh, I thought I found a sinkhole, but I guess not. What is that anyway? Just a... Watchtower? Maybe over here? Oh, but there are monsters over here. Hmm. This is gone. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're a Hylian. Basak. This is the ice house. It's where we store ice, obviously. All made from snow melt from the Gerudo Highlands. I'm kind of surprised to see you here. This isn't really a tourist destination. Oh. But you're probably wondering where all the ice is, right? Well, it's gotten hot enough that it all melted. Feels wrong to even call this place an ice house right now. Have you heard about the incredibly popular drink the noble canteen in town makes? Well, it uses ice from here. Or it did. If I can't get any... If I can't get ice delivered to town, there won't be any signature drinks. 
being made by anyone. I have to find a way to make ice. Well, you are in luck. Hey, that's ice, isn't it? I didn't know Hylians could make ice. Maybe I've been in the ice house or up on the mountain for too long. Anyway, if it's okay with you, could I have this ice? Go right ahead. If it's possible to make a hunk of that ice that fits nicely in the alcove, that would be ideal. Now what she wants is something like a cube. Flawless, thank you. Snugly, I probably would need to let it melt a little. Sized. This will definitely hold up on the trip to town. That's great. Ah. Sark. Hopefully this is something you can make use of. Be sure to grab something to drink at the canteen in town. Oh. Feel free to come back and make some more ice, okay? Yeah, but I don't have anything I can give you as a reward right now. It wouldn't feel right to accept your help when I can't repay you, so give me some time, okay? You can always visit the spa in Gerudo Town in the mean- Oh, wait. You're a Vo. So you aren't allowed inside Gerudo Town. Uh, maybe you could relax at the Karakara Bazaar instead? Hold on to that for later. I gotta head back to town anyway. Tell her what I found. What I found was 300 rupees. I was expecting like a piece of armor or a weapon of some kind. Wasn't quite what we were expecting. Oh. Huh? What happened to that big orb? Eh? You found your way into the sanctuary? So that giant orb was the key after all. Well, did you learn anything about our mystery eighth? Eh? 
What? The eighth was a vow? Is that true? Sa Oten. If you ask me what I thought the truth would turn out to be, I'd never have guessed this. To say that what we learned here will upend what we know of Gerudo history is an understatement. Ah. I've got to write up these finding, findings as soon as I can. Don't worry, I'll mention your contributions as well. Uh, hang on. Mm -hmm. What name should I credit you as? Eh? Link, eh? That's a funny coincidence. Must be nice having the same name as Princess Zelda's favorite swordsman. I'll write this report up nice and thorough. I know you'll be you're excited to read it. Oh, before I forget, this is your reward. Oh, she didn't give me a hydro melon this time. <laughs> Next time you see me, I'll be the star of the Archaeological Society. Well then, Savork. Hmm. Well, that didn't turn into a whole lot of anything. I wonder if Riju needs help with anything. I'm glad to see you. Have you been out to look out landing yet? I sent Boliara there. If you find her, say hi for me, okay? Mm. I haven't gotten any new information about Zelda. It seems she hasn't been around here recently. <clears throat> I don't know if you'll find this information helpful, but... Mm. After I became a sage and returned to town, I discovered an interesting ancient reference. Seek out the swordswoman upon the sand, and look to where she points. There is treasure waiting underground. It was written in an old document I discovered. Mm. I doubt it holds any connection to Zelda, but it might be a clue to something. The swordswoman upon the sand. Treasure underground. It could be worth looking into. I suppose now might be a good time to head back to Lookout Landing. <sighs> oh, finish me. Oh. Four banners of the four uh, races. It's oddly quiet here. Interesting. They didn't add anything new to the shop this time. And now there are Gerudo here too. I can't see her. What's going on? No matter how hard you squint, she's not visible from here. Oh, Link, pardon me. I got word that the princess was spotted at Hyrule Castle. I was hoping I'd catch sight of her. But the castle so far, I can't see much of anything. Actually, come to think of it, wasn't the Lucky Clover Gazette looking into her disappearance as well? 
Perhaps we should work with them a little bit. They might be able to give us some more intel. Her story is really something. Mind going through it again just to make sure I got all the details right? Oh. Sure, no problem. I've been taking care of a very rare animal for Princess Zelda, a golden horse. But the poor thing ran away from our stable. Mm. Hmm. Princess Zelda's horse vanishing is like uh, vanishing like that is a pretty big story. But tell me again, why'd that horse run off? Oh. That's the troubling part, isn't it? When it happened, I'd finished tending to the horses and was taking a bit of a rest in the stable. Then that gentle creature began making terrible sounds, neighing and bucking around so hard it shook the stable. So you went outside to see what was wrong, didn't you? Yes, exactly. And there she was. Princess Zelda. After all this time, she was right in front of our stable. But when then the princess came closer, and the golden horse thrashed harder. Aww. And then the animal broke free and bolted away like nothing I've ever seen before. I couldn't help staring at that crazed creature. And when I looked back at the princess, she was just gone. It happened so fast. Mm. So you lost sight of the horse, and then Princess Zelda vanished on the spot. That's all strange from start to finish. My little sources tipped me off about this, but I have to say, I thought it was going to turn out to be nothing much. Oh, hey, partner. You're here. I should have known it was you there. Just looking, just look at you tiptoeing up like this and getting your ear in. You've got the makings of a real reporter. Oh, is this someone else from the newspaper? Oh, That's right, new partner. Plenty of gusto. A lot of promise. Would it be alright if he listens in? Now please, tell us anything else you can remember. Anything at all. Mm. The part that really bothers me is the poor animal acting that way. That horse truly loved the princess. She rescued it and protected it. She doted on it. But the horse was terrified. And for the life of me, I can't understand why. Eh? Princess Zelda is known far and wide for her compassion. I can't imagine our princess being terrifying at all. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I think I did catch the briefest glimpse of the princess's face. I thought I could have, couldn't have seen that right, but she had such a cold expression. She's been full of warmth when she's been here before. Maybe the princess was furious that I let the horse get away. Oh. I... I really should find that animal and bring it back here for her. Uh. That poor horse galloped north and never looked back. Late response, but yes on the narrative voice? Oh, thank you! <laughs> I'd go in search of that stead, but with the huge monster that's flying around up north, it's far too dangerous for me. Best I can do is keep the horses home here in the stable nice and clean, just in case it returns. Uh, I just hope someone finds that sweet creature and brings it back here safely. Head up north, you say. Huge creature flying around. That can only be the Gleok. I still don't know that I'm strong enough to tangle with a Gleok. Nor do I really care to find out.
Perhaps some long distance scouting is called for. After all, I don't want to... How dare you? Gotcha. Silver among you all, huh? Interesting. Oh, just caught sight of my hearts. I should do something about that. That's the other reason I don't want to deal with a Leoc right now. sign of it from here. That Gleok is just hanging about. out in the snow, but I don't see it anywhere. Maybe it made it past. Looks like this guy's having some trouble. wander it too? I hear a lot on my travels. Is there some mystery I can help you get to the bottom of? Say, are you aware of the mystery of the geoglyphs that have sprung up all over the world after the upheaval? Ah. I'm an adventurer looking into the, those geoglyphs. Even if I haven't made much progress yet, I came here because I heard that people have seen a geoglyph in the area. Mm. I've walked up and down these hills and I and not found <laughs> any trace of it. No use complaining though. I'll rest a bit and pick up my search again soon. Maybe I'll see you again while I'm at it. Stay safe, traveler. I know peplets when I see them. Ooh, a sapphire. Still no sign of the horse, so I can only assume it somehow made its way further up here. And 
I kind of have a way to track horses, but... Oh, the sun's coming out. The trouble is, it only... It'll track any horse. Rather than just one specific type. Well, that might be worth a shot. What are you doing all the way out here? You are not dressed adequately, friend. Uh. Putting President Hudson here, too. I've eaten a special rice ball I made so that this cold weather won't get to me. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. Hmm. Okay, I got some ideas. the other way. I better be prepared for that. Because it's it's fine on that one side, but if it starts tipping the other way, it's it's done. started tipping, but it didn't go all the way, but I'm glad I put that there anyway. That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. Oh, right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> Must be hungry. Uh, biting meaty rice balls. Cold weather attack. Okay, that's different. Something from your premium... A wildflower with a powerful odor that can disorient and confuse, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. What is this doing in your premium collection, sir? Ah. Now I can go to other places and put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. Still no sign of the Golden Steed. Perhaps I had best turn on the tracker. It'll lock onto any horse, but... That's... 
better than flying blind right now. Of course, it's telling me over here. <laughs> ah. Someone thinks he's clever. I missed. Ow. Makes quick work of the- There! Hiding amongst other... Horses. I gotta be... Careful how I do this. Cause I don't want him running off towards the Gleok. I hadn't gotten compendium pictures for those. If I don't take him out, he's just gonna call his buddies over. Maybe I don't need to take him out, I just need to chase him off. you back to the stable before that Gleok finds us. Oh. <laughs> He's not fighting me too much. Maybe he really is a gentle soul. Almost there, buddy. Ho, ho. Doing good. <laughs> no, 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 you're okay. You're okay. Who's finally back home? No doubt about it, that's Princess Zelda's steed for certain. Oh. I've been worried sick, but now you've found it. Eh? Huh? When did you... Ah, never mind. So, partner, when you show up and save the day in the middle of... 
of my reporting work here. Well, it kind of throws me off my saddle, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, just giving you a hard time. Besides, those good deeds of yours just feather my reputation. You make me proud. But, huh? Is it just me, or has that misplaced pony there gotten kind of attached to you? Oh. I know this horse well, and I do believe you're right. Really, you'd be doing me a favor if you kept this gentle creature. Princess Zelda asked me to find someone who'd take good care of it. <laughs> and in your travels around Hyrule, perhaps you'll even have a chance to reunite this horse with the princess. <laughs> if that's the case, partner, then how could you say no to keeping it? Do it as a favor for the horse, at least. Wait, I want you to have this too. Royal bridle. And a royal saddle. Signifies its origins with the royal Hyrule, Hyrulean family. Ah! These are the bridle and saddle left behind by Princess Zelda. The little one's accustomed to those, so feel free to use them. Also take this with you. I thought, uh, I'd thought of using this energizing elixir if I had to help calm the horse after it bolted off. But I don't need that anymore, so I'll give it to you. Ah. You might still be a rookie, but you're a, every bit as good of a reporter as I thought you'd be. Thanks to you, I'll have the full story when I write my article. Mm. We've worked together to chase three of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Ah. You know... I don't think anyone would take you for a rookie with how hard you're working with these investigations. I'm sure Tracy appreciates your efforts. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Oh, oh whoops, almost forgot. Tracy's been really impressed with you and asked me to give you a bonus. Here you go. <laughs> Alright, I'm off to the office to write up this whole piece for the paper. Take care, partner. Let's work together again soon. Sapa! So long. Princess Zelda's golden horse. We're well acquainted already. You mean to register it, I presume? Oh. Understood. Your horse will be in good hands. Really is gentle of temperament. Okay. You sure you want to register it? Of course. Oh. Got it. The fee to register is 20 rupees. Will that be alright? Uh. Thanks. Oh. Since you're registering a new horse, we'll add one point to your pony points. Well then, I'll move on to the registration process. First, please enter a name for your horse. I already know what to call him. All right. Are you sure you want to name this horse Alrum? Yep. Oh. Name registered. Want to take it with you or board it? Let's go ahead and board him. Give him a wash and a brush while you're at it. Huh? Your horse is safe with us. Thanks for using the stable. What's this world coming to? Time was, you looked at the sky in the day, you'd see the sun and some clouds. And at night, the moon and the stars. Nowadays, you look up and you see floating islands and ships and all sorts of strange things. Oh. It's hard to look at the future with anything but anxiety right now. Yeah, I felt that. You're not doing too good, are you, Beetle? Ah, so g g g good to see you, even if it is f freezing. These g clothes weren't made for the weather. But Beetle goes to where the, the travelers are. Sa, sa. Well then, can, can, can I tempt you to buy, or are you selling today? Uh, oh, I don't have anything that I can get him to warm up. What have you got? Hmm. Not much. Thank you. I look forward to your next visit. Sunderstorm, have you figured out what emotes you'll get when you get your affiliation? 
you know, I have been so focused on getting there first that I haven't really, uh, I haven't really given it much thought. Well, I, lo I even love how you did even did the stutter. Thank you. I I, I try. Um, I haven't really, like I said, I've been so focused on getting there first that I haven't really given it much thought. Felt like, uh, putting the cart before the horse, I guess. <sighs> Let's see. Where's another one that they might have? Ah, perhaps here. It'll be a surprise. Oh, so. I haven't even thought about how I'd probably have to commission someone. More importantly, how am I going to pay them? I don't make a lot of money. you down here? All right. The goats that broke out. Hmm. Mm, hardly a trace of a recipe remains. Just the remnants of a half-eaten highly just the remnants of half-eaten highly and pine cones. Oh. Hey partner, you're looking good. Were you also pulled to this place by the inescapable tug of a story? I'm chasing some new chirps and warbles from my beloved little birds. A group of goats is a herd, or a trip, or a tribe. Anyway, this stable has been raising a small herd of white goats. Or it was, until all those white goats up and up vanished all of a sudden. That's not where it stops, though. Some have said that Princess Zelda may also be involved. Anyway... Why don't you talk with Chork, the guy who was taking care of the white goats? I'll look for more clues. Oh. Partner, time for you to get to work. There's a big scoop here. I can feel it. Oh. Hey, buddy. Uh, have you seen some white goats around here? I I'd given all the those goats all the love and care in the world, but the other day they ran off together. <laughs> Didn't even finish all their food before they left. The Hylian pine cones weren't eaten. Followed Princess Zelda's recipe perfectly, but could it have been the feed that drove them off? Oh. What recipe? Uh, yeah, Princess Zelda shared a recipe when she visited the stable a while back. It's really amazing how much she knows about animals. I never would have expected her to be developing healthy feed recipes. In this case, it's a recipe for a special kind of feed for white goats. The main ingredient is fresh Hylian pine cones. Oh. <laughs> it's actually pretty unusual. It requires you to mix the pine cones in whole. You don't grind them down or anything. I didn't want my wonderful white goats to eat the recipe the princess gave me, so I put it in a glass bottle. But a big storm came through one day and it blew the bottle off somewhere. I wasn't able to find it after that, so I've been making the recipe, the recipe from memory since then. But what would make my white goat spit up the Hylian pine cones and run off like that. Did they really hate Princess Zelda's recipe that much? Hmm. Pen, you got anything else for me? Hmm. Chork says the bottle that he kept Princess Zelda's recipe in was blown off somewhere by the wind. As a result, the feed he's been giving to the goats was made from what he could remember. I can't believe Zelda would teach anyone a nonsense recipe. It doesn't seem like her at all. It's important we find oh. those goats. But I think we should also find the recipe that might shine some light on what exactly Princess Zelda was up to. I'm going to poke around and see if I can turn oh. up any other information. Keep up the hard work, partner. The answer to this mystery is close. I can feel it. Hmm... 
Tracking the goats should be the easy part. Do I have any white goats? Yeah, there we are. Even looks to be from here. Maybe I just need to find the follow the trail of pine cones. So I didn't need the tracker after all. And then they went this way. How far did they go? This way? Sensors going off. Oh, there they are. How are we gonna get them back home? Oh, and they have the recipe with them as well. Oh, those are my white goats. Oh, those are my white goats. So this is where they ran to ran off to. I thought the, I thought there was someone else who found them and tried to claim them. They're there. I'm just so glad to see you. Are you all okay? And you're the one who found them? Thank you. I won't forget this. This bottle. This is what I was using to keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. Let me see it. I need to check the recipe. I'll BRB, but I'll have you tabbed open. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Wait! Oh, no! Grind the pine cones into a powder. I'm not supposed to use the Hylian pine cone hole? I should have known something was off. It did look really hard to eat. My poor sweet goats. They must have run off because of the awful food I was making them eat. I'm so sorry. I hurt you all when I thought I was helping. It was my fault all along. I would have run away too. I can't believe I doubted the recipe that the Princess Zelda has shared with me. I should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, I really do want to take the best possible care of the goats. But it's not just about the what kind of food you feed them, right? It's important to show them you care with all your heart. From now on, I will take care of all of you with the same kindness and compassion that Princess Zelda displays. That's the best way to show my gratitude for her, sharing this recipe with me. Oh, and I really, really can't thank you enough for finding my white goats. And the recipe! We're going to head back to the stable. You take care. Aye. Hey, partner! Yo. I saw everything, partner. Ah. A perfect investigation with a happy ending. I'd expect nothing less from you. Hmm. Do you think it's a coincidence that the missing white goats and the lost recipe were in the same place? That did feel really strange to me. I have another theory. Maybe the white goats set out to find the bottle themselves because they couldn't stand to eat the wrong recipe anymore. Maybe. But then how would they have known where to look? I don't think that's the case. But it does make you wonder, doesn't it? 
We worked together to chase four of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. And just one other thing. Tracy sent along a bonus for all your hard work. Ooh, froggy sleeve. Good sleeve for a rainy day. Small dimples on the fingers act as suction cups, giving you giving good grip on wet, slippery surfaces. Oh. It's pretty rare gear that'll make it easier to keep your grip on walls, even on the rainy days. It's no pair of wings, but I'm sure it'll help you reach new heights, partner. All right, I'm gonna hurry back to HQ and bring word of this story's conclusion to our readers. See you later, partner. I look forward to chasing another big scoop with you. Sapow! So long. Hmm. Uh oh. The blood moon rises. The blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. I wonder, have I been to that island? Within flying distance of Starview Island. I want to say I have been there. But I just don't know for sure. I think I have, and there was an old map. Let's try this. Oh yeah, maybe there's some fairies hiding around here. They're usually hiding around pools like this. Just gonna grab it. Come here. Come on. Just a little further down. No, no. Come on. to activate your thing. Sorry. Sorry for the false alarm. Okay, so there's just one left over there. Three fairies. Good. Good, 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 good. Just a little further down. That's it. A little closer. A little more. Gotcha. 
Okay. Um, let's see. So it's in that direction? Ish. it right there I think no that's a different one is that the one it is that's a little higher up Lucky for me, I know a few tricks. First, some more fans. And one more for good measure. I saw you say something earlier. You wear it well? Good evening. You must be a challenger for the dive ceremony. You're welcome to show your courage. Do you want to start the dive ceremony right away? The dive ceremony. A trial that tests your courage. It is a right by which Zonai youth come of age. Starting position is the Sky Island far above here. The challenger leaps from there. They must pass through all the rings in a set amount of time. You have proved your maturity, but there is nothing wrong with practice. Go on, show me your courage. Alright. I need one Zonai charge as an offering. Follow me to the starting position. Your task is to pass through all the rings in 20 seconds or less. I didn't make it to 20 seconds. I can try again though. Twenty-two seventy-five. Nice try. The trick is to quickly descend the quick bleh. The trick to descending quickly is to dive as much as possible. Find your courage and accelerate as much as you dare. You may be able to beat the current record of twenty seconds. I'll try it again. Follow me to the starting position. Oh, I thought I missed that one for sure. Your time is 1856. This is an astonishing new record. My records indicate that you are faster and braver than any previous challenger. 
I award you this in honor of your extraordinary record. You have earned it. Please tell me your name. I will register you as the record holder. Understood. Your name is Link. I've registered you as the record holder. I await your next attempt. Let's see. Okay. So what I was going to do earlier... I need two of those. One of these. Look through my saved recipes. Or saved schematics. There it is. It's upside down, of course, but easily fixed. I think I shouldn't have any issue navigating over there with this. The issue of having enough power to get there, though, is another matter entirely. I can't believe I forgot about this when I was trying to get to that island. Why am I leaning to the left? Oh, is it my weapon? I bet it's my weapon. No, it's just pulling to the left for some reason. Hmm. How odd. Maybe it's the wind? Almost there. Inevitably, there's probably going to be a construct on this island. One that I'll have to fight. But, big isolated islands like this usually have some kind of a reward to them as well. Yep, sure enough, there he is. All right, you know, the game completely sailed over him. Flux construct three. Oh, hi. I need something strong to beat him with. Bigger on sword it is. Ow. I need to be careful. I don't have a lot of... Healing items. Ooh. Ow. Not good. Link, I'm about to shove a bunch of apples in your mouth. Gotcha. Ah. 
Now he's doing this, huh? in here now. Oh, Sage's Will. That's always good. Wonder if it will let me. Sixty-eight? Ooh. <laughs> We're saving that bad boy. We're also dropping that one. Let's see. A little further to the southeast is another one. direction. I don't think we can descend quickly enough. So there's the Colosseum, so it should be... There, I can see the fairy fountain. Okay. And we're about to lose the hover bike. That is strange. Hello, partner. You here to investigate the rumors too? I've been hearing some interesting chirps and warbles. Oh, you're also a reporter? I just had a bit of a strange experience is all. Mm. You see, I was by the debris near the three-way intersection up ahead when a woman came up to me. Please, please, you have to help her. Her life is in danger. It would only make it worse to reveal who she is. But please, you must save her. That's what she said to me. Uh. The woman sounded really desperate. So I decided to follow her. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't keep up. Eventually, I lost track of her. That's all there is to it. Ah. Hey, partner. Does something strike you as odd about this person whose identity can't be revealed? Mm. And if revealing who she is to strangers is dangerous, could she be someone of great importance? And if her life is already in danger? Well, combining these facts makes me wonder if this isn't actually a particular important person who has gone missing. I can't be sure, of course. I can't be sure, of course, but if there's a slight chance... There's only one way for us to know for sure, though. 
We'll have to peck away at this news to see what the truth is. Mm. Now that I'm thinking about it... Now that I'm thinking about the whole thing again, why was that woman, why was that woman staring so hard at my hair? How strange. Your hair? Huh. Down by the debris, he said. I suppose that's a good place to start. You're a freaking Yiga. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Oh no! My poor friend! Please, you must save her. Oh no. I worry that time is short for my friend. Are you okay? B -b -b Blonde hair. I do not know who you are, but I ask that you please help me. My poor... Regal friend's life is in danger. I can't reveal who she is, but that would only make things worse. She's in hiding and unable to move. My friend is in such danger. Please, I cannot help her all by myself. All right, then let's go. Oh, thank you so much. My friend is in hiding right now. That is the only way for her to remain undetected by those with ill intent. We should go to where my friend is, but be careful not to be seen. We do not want to draw evil to her. Ah. I'll wait for you down this road. Meet me as soon as you can. <laughs> hmm. Stealth is what's called for. stick what since stealth is what she called for oh no a thunderstorm
see the silver anywhere. Wherever it went, hopefully it stays there. Over here! Oh my, you are drenched! My apologies for leaving you behind. I was overtaken by concern for my friend. She's resting safely out of sight. It's the only way to stay safe. I'm sorry that the path is so poor. Could you possibly go to the top of that cliff? We can meet right where you can see the fallen debris. And how exactly do you plan to get up there? I know how I'm gonna get up there. Maybe I don't. Being up there is a bit tricky. Okay, glad to have you back. I oh, know you f you feel what? I feel what, by the way? What did you, what did you mean? to fight me on that, huh? see him where you could overlook and see where the debris was she said over here I think
Huh. I'll come back to you later. it right there. And the crossroads is right here. Where is she hiding? You were just wanting to meet up here? I thought you wanted to meet on the other side. Was it here? <laughs> Must be him then. Oh, I am so rude. You have my apologies. Come now, my friend is waiting ahead. Aww. She's waiting nearby, around the debris on the opposite cliff. I will go on ahead and let her know that you are coming. It's a bit far off, but I know you'll be able to make it. I smell Yiga trap. Oh, there's Farosh. This way. Aww. I'm sorry for all that. It was important for me to test you. Blonde hair, courage to overcome a challenge, and then another, and then another. Oh, and your disgusting, unwavering commitment to do good. You are Princess Zelda's chosen bodyguard, the Swordsman Link, correct? <laughs> I'm so glad to finally meet you. Now I can take you to the last stop on our little journey. <laughs> your grave. <laughs> I knew it. Uh oh, how many of them are here? Three of them. Hit you know, Bo. Well, I'll let you off this time. But don't expect such mercy next time. Prepare yourself. Hi. Hey, hey, partner. Well? So, this is where your investigation took you. Looks like you really got yourself out on a limb there. I've been scouting from the skies, trying to get to the bottom of this story. I heard that woman was luring people away. I thought I heard her voice, so I swooped on down. And hey, here you are. So tell me, what have you unearthed? Oh, 
for? I see. Who could have guessed that this whole story would be an elaborate trap set by the Yiga clan? If you didn't know, they are a group of assassins trying to bring down the kingdom of Hyrule. I heard they were good at disguising themselves, but playing the part of a villager? I never would have guessed. And all to flesh out the swordsman who protects the princess. Ah. They thought you, a young and up and young up and coming reporter who just happens to have blonde hair. They believed you were actually that swordsman? That's just bad luck for you. You've definitely got some skills though. If you can escape from the Yiga You've definitely got some skills though, if you can escape from the Yiga clan. Proud of you, partner. I'm glad I don't have to write a headline like Junior Reporter Falls to the Cruel Blade of the Yiga in Pursuit of Truth. Mm. You know, we've chased five of the leads that might have had something to do with Princess Zelda. Oh. Your investigations are the talk of the office at the Lucky Clover Gazette. You've really shown some promise. <laughs> and it turns out the paper is doing really well thanks to the articles we keep putting together. Which is why Tracy told me we're both getting raises. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Ooh, a silver rupee. Anyway, time I took off and turned these unusual details into an article. You take care, partner. Ah! Soar along! I noticed this during that cutscene. A royal broadsword. A welcome addition. Let's see. Uh, where would the next nearest one be? I already found this one. Wasn't much of a story to that place. Uh, there's mention over here of a group of gourmets who went missing. has gone missing. There we go. Apparently had an appointment with them where they were going to share a recipe they had learned from Princess Zelda herself. Mentioned they might have gone camping across the river. <sighs> oh right, I should probably fix my uh, sensor. the bridge, he said. So they might be camping. Yeah. <sighs> My friend and I got separated. Ooh, that is a long way away. Huh. Uh, we need to sleep now. Good luck on the stream. Alright, thank you, Angelo. I hope you uh, sleep well. I'm actually probably gonna have to call it soon. I've got work in the morning. Uh, I think I'll finish up this one and then I'll call it. And I'll probably raid someone.
Uh, the pain. Oh. Help. Please. Princess Zil... Her recipe... Is written. Don't... Don't... Improvise. Yeah, you. Can I have that meat and rice bowl? Please, please, I need to eat it. <laughs> yes, I recognize this flavor. This is the recipe Princess Zelda shared with us. Shoot, Telly, and I. Hurry up and take a bite of this. <laughs> oh, thank you for helping us. We were not doing well at all. Princess Zelda taught us how to cook this dish quite some time ago. We ran into her once during our travels. She was full of kindness for us, despite our group being a little ragged on the road. But I do remember now that she said we needed to follow the recipe exactly. <laughs> Whose bright idea was it to substitute monster parts in place of real meat? Uh... That was me. I'm sorry. I was just curious what it would taste like. I thought maybe her recipe would work well with monster parts. Oh. The road to gourmet greatness is littered with stuff you wouldn't think is tasty. Gotta expand your palate. Oh. Now's not the time to sit and figure out best practices for future dietary exploits. We've got to get to Riverside Stable. We're so late. I'm sure Goddard has been worrying about us. Ah. We really are grateful for your help. Let me say again, on behalf of everyone, thank you. You don't even know us, but you used valuable ingredients to save us from ourselves. Here, please take this. Mm. And this. Mm. And finally. <laughs> we like cooking with the very best raw meat when we have it. You can use all of that to cook yourself a meat and rice bowl sometime. Anyway. We'd better get ready and head to Riverside Stable, since we plan to be there. Well, before now. Uh. I mean, w since we plan to be there, well before now. I have to get going. Hopefully we'll run into each other in the future. Huh? Well, if it isn't my partner. Hi. Ah. Any luck finding those missing travelers yet? I just started to scout for them from the sky when I saw you down here. You chased down any leaves at all? Oh. What? They were right here. They were right here? Too queasy to even move? And you helped them get back on their feet again. Mm. Interesting. So the chirps and warbles were really onto something. I'm impressed that Princess Zelda's vast knowledge includes things I wouldn't expect, like recipes for dishes. Mm. We've worked together to chase six of the stories relating to Princess yeah. Zelda. There's never time for a break, you know? I'd better make sure Tracy hears the details of what happened here. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. A recipe from Princess Zelda. Perfect for getting folks into fighting shape. <sighs> the, writer, the article almost writes itself. Almost. Sapow! So long! How about that? What's this? A throwing spear? feeling something was hiding in here. And there always seems to be something hiding at the top of these pillars, too. This will only take a moment. Uh, 
Uh, so that's what's hiding up here. Surprisingly easy compared to the others. Well, let me just get back over there to the stable and then we'll find someone to raid. It's getting late and I have to. Ow! You. late and I have to wake up early in the morning for work. Actually, I think I have to wake up in five hours. So I probably should get off of here so I can get some sleep. What's a lone cuckoo just doing out here on this rock? Yum. Monster extract. That'd work. Are you talking about the monster cake that I made? at the stable now. Oh, thank you all so much for joining me this evening. Uh, let's see who is on line. still going. Uh, great work today. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for uh, helping a lot of people to find me. Thank you all the same, anyway. <laughs> Let's see. Thanks, that's connection issues. He's not having a great time. Uh, let's see, I raided Nip Nipperati yesterday, so let me find someone else. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You too.
Okay. I have found someone. We are going to be raiding uh, Bumi uh, Catite, who is currently playing uh, Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Thank you all so much for joining me this evening. I had a uh, wonderful time. Uh, I'll be uh, taking care of some minor things off camera with the game, just smaller things, grinding for items and such. And hopefully, as long as nothing else comes up, I will be streaming again on Monday Maybe in the, it might be in the afternoon, it might be in the evening. I'll need some time to th think on that and plan ahead. Uh, but thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, night, what have you, wherever you are. Can't wait, neither can I. And, uh... I will see you all then. Thank you. Thank you all again so much for joining me.